Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. In previous episodes, we talked to Irish millionaire Norman Crowley about his cool planet carbon empire and his contention that technology and unexpected precipitous events will ensure climate change is solved by 2030. This week, we head back to the future and discover how a 1963 Corvette Stingray is not only part of a low-carbon future, but Norman Crowley already has one sitting in his garage. Crowley explains how the Stingray figures into the strategy his group of companies is taking to address climate change. So how we break our group down is, and we joke about this, is we have the boring bit, we have we have the supermodel and we have wisdom, right? <laughs> and so the boring bit, energy efficiency is kind of boring, right? It's all about bits and bytes and engineering and enthalpy and blah, blah, blah. Now the financial result is not boring and the carbon result is not boring, but the day-to-day is kind of boring. Yep, Crowley says taking action on climate change using things like energy efficiency is boring. So he started another company that's a little more sexy. And so, in our case, how do we make the boring things really interesting? So our electrify business, what that does is we look at some of the most beautiful cars that were ever created, right? So the Corvette Stingray, the Ferrari Testarossa, right? And the people who designed those cars had to make many compromises because they were designed in the 60s and the 70s. So Crowley started Electrify, a company that retrofits cars to full electric. And then he approached some of the most famous car designers in the world and asked them if they would like to reimagine theirs as the perfect car. The Stingray was designed in, uh, in 59. And so we approached those designers who are some of the most famous uh, designers in the world. And we said, would you like to recreate or reimagine your car? as the perfect car because it's electric it's way faster um, it has all the technology that you couldn't have back then and so what electrify does now and we're launching the first car later this year is create these beautiful cars and then what we do is we use that attention to focus on climate uh, and to focus on the message but also the cars thankfully make us a lot of money and already like actors like dev patel um Uh, Ellie Goulding, the singer, we made Ellie's wedding car. Like these very famous people are now latching onto this and then they want to help as well. The first Back to the Future Electrify electric cars are due out later this year. Meanwhile, I had to ask what a climate capitalist like Norman Crowley drives. The garage right now, there is a 1981 Ferrari 308, um, which has been electrified. There is a 1972 Land Rover Series 3 that is absolutely beautiful and has been electrified. And then there's a 1963 Corvette Stingray. Uh, And the Corvette Stingray is in the process of being electrified. Uh, And for those car nerds listening, it will go from 267 brake horsepower, maybe, although I think some of those horses have died over the years, um, to 2,000 brake horsepower. But... What do you drive regularly? So we have a we have a Model S and we have a, a Model Three four wheel drive. Yeah, and oh. um, and we love those. Uh, completely love those. Actually, Crowley's strategy: make money on the boring bits, use sexy cars to get people excited, and create education programs to develop the wisdom we need to plot a path to a sustainable future. Listen to our full-length interview with Norman Crowley at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. What we find is that combination of the boring stuff that makes money drops carbon, the supermodel that makes that much more exciting, and then wisdom to frame it all together is the ultimate combination. So Norman, you promised me four supermodels um, and a sexy car.